What's good everybody? Today I'm going to help you turn your Zoom videos from this to this. For those of you that are new, my name is Darren Akakihara and I'm a middle school teacher from Southern California. Well teachers, it looks like a lot of us are going to be starting our year off online. <laughs> so if we're going to have to teach online, we might as well look our best, right? Today I'm going to teach you how to hook up your DSLR and use it as your webcam. I'm going to show you how I hooked up my camera. I don't know what kind of camera you have and I don't know if it's going to work. You're going to have to do a little bit of investigation, but but I know it works because this is how I zoom, okay? All right, the first thing that you need to do is find out if your camera will output a clean HDMI signal, which means that, you know, all of the information that you have like shutter speed and a frame and, you know, grid lines, those don't show up on the signal that's getting outputted from your camera. So you have to make sure that your camera will output clean HDMI. So in the description below, I've put a couple of places that you can do a little research on the camera that you have. Okay, so once you find out that your camera does indeed send out a clean signal, then you're in business, okay? So depending on the make and the model of your camera, you might need to get a capture card. This thing right here is a pretty inexpensive one. It's made by Elgato and they're known for their game streaming. This thing will allow you to hook up your camera straight into the HDMI of your laptop or computer. So it looks like a little flash drive. It has a uh, USB on one side and then on the other side it has a HDMI input. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your camera and you're going to plug an HDMI cord into this side Take the other end of the cord and hook it into right here and you just plug this thing straight into your laptop. And that's one way to hook up your camera and use it as a webcam. But if you happen to own a Canon, you're able to just plug it straight into your computer. So today I'm gonna to show you how I hooked up my old 70D into my MacBook and how I use it as my webcam when I'm doing Zoom calls with my kids or anybody for that matter. To do that, all you're gonna need is your camera, and a USB cord with the mini USB to regular USB. And I'm sure you have one of these lying around. The other thing that I added was a continuous battery power. So I, um, this is an adapter that will go into the battery slot of my camera and then it plugs, just plugs in like that. That allows me to not have to worry about the battery life of the camera. Another thing that I had to do with this camera was I installed a third-party firmware for the camera so it doesn't shut off after 30 minutes. The one that I used is Magic Lantern. Now here's a warning to you, okay? If you decide to go that route, you are completely nullifying your warranty on your camera. This one's quite old and it could potentially ruin your camera. <laughs> but I felt pretty good about it because so many people have done this to their camera. It just adds a, like a lot of functionality and it allows you to override that 30 minute time limit. The reason that you need that is because sometimes our meetings go w way longer than 30 minutes, right? And you don't wanna have to restart your camera in the middle of a meeting. Okay, so once you have your equipment, you're gonna plug it in. On the side of this Canon, you have two slots. One is for audio and the other one is for video. And on this camera, it has a little mini HDMI port and it also has a USB port. I have found that the USB port works better than the HDMI. I don't know, it just kind of wiggles in this particular camera. I don't know if it does in every camera, but in this camera, it wiggles and it gives me an unstable picture. So I'm using a USB cord. You take your USB and you plug it in and you take the other end and you just plug it into a USB port. And honestly guys, that's all you have to do. First I'm gonna install this battery. You open up the battery compartment right here and you slide this in till it clicks. And then if you see right here, 
it has a little opening. So you're going to slide that through your opening. And then you should be able to close the door quite easily. Okay, so this is battery power. And this is your HDMI out. All right. So I'm going to put that on here and tighten it up. And I'm going to take this wire and I'm just going to plug it into an open USB port. Voila. Okay. So the first thing you got to do is look for a list of uh, cameras that have a clean HDMI and you can do that here if you have a Canon. Gives you a list. If you don't have a Canon you can come to this list and it shows other cameras that you can check to see if it has a clean HDMI. Okay, so once we have figured out that we have a camera that will work, we come over here to the very first link, we click on it, and we come down here and we click on learn more. And then you can see that this is beta software, so that means it's in its uh, testing phase, okay? And what we want to do is click on the beta software. If you have a Mac or Windows, you're going to select which camera you have. Now keep in mind that my camera is a 70D and it's not on this list because it doesn't have the features that um, are required for this. So I click the closest one to it, the 77D. You click on that and it takes you to the camera and then you come over here you come over here to the second one that says EOS webcam utility beta 0 0.9.0 for Mac that's the one that I want you select it and then you download it once it's downloaded it downloads as a zip file you're gonna open up your zip file and there it is right there so you're going to double click on that to install it and it will do all the magic for you okay it will install for you now once it's installed it should automatically show up for you in your camera list so if we open zoom we start a new meeting you're going to see this EOS webcam utility beta and here I am you guys so to check you're gonna come down here to the bottom left hand corner and click on this up arrow and then you should see this is your regular camera and this is you're using your DSLR what a difference huh and really you guys that's all you have to do. Just know that your your cameras are right here. Let's see if this works with uh, Google Meet. Let's start a new meeting. Let's just start it right now. So this camera defaults to my laptop camera, my webcam, built-in webcam. But if we come up here to settings, let's see if we can uh, change the video. If it's in there. Oh, it is. It's one of the choices right here. So let me show you how I got there. This is before the meeting has started. You come down here to the three dots, click on it, come up here to settings, and then click on video. And let's come up to webcam uh, utility beta. See if it works. Bam! It works on Google Meet too. You just have to update your settings. So there you go guys. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Especially if you have a camera that you don't have to manipulate and it was just on that list like a newer if you have a newer camera It's gonna be super simple. You just download the software plug it in and bam It's available for you to switch to so I can tell you that it's made a big difference in the calls that I make I get comments every time I'm on a zoom call about the quality of the picture that 
my my camera is producing so if you guys are interested in doing that for yourself this is how you do it so as you can see i used an older canon camera and it worked perfectly if you are working with something other than a canon camera like a nikon or a sony and it's on that list you might have to get a capture card and go that route but if you have a Canon, super simple. You just download that software and you're able to just plug it in. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.